Hey guys, JT is Reborn here, bringing you another edition of Horror Movie of the Week. Now, we just did the whole Friday the 13th thing, and, you know, I'm not saying I'm Friday the 13th out, but I think it's time to do something a little different. Now, this movie, we actually did a review on for Epic Horror Fans, but it hasn't been a Horror Movie of the Week. And, you know, the sequel just came out this previous weekend, and it had one of the biggest openings of all time, like in the month of, it had the second biggest opening of all time, September, one of the biggest horror opening weekends of all time. Um, almost as much as The Conjuring, uh, pretty much the biggest horror opening weekend for, uh, September, yeah, definitely. Um, we're going to talk about the first movie, this is none other than Insidious. Man, this is a pretty creepy-ass movie, I mean, I saw this in theaters twice, the first time, you know, it really caught me off guard by how entertaining the movie is, I mean, shit, it's actually pretty freaking scary, I mean, the plot revolves around a family, you know, they move into this house, and you're thinking, oh, it's going to be your typical haunted house thing, but no. Their son, Dalton, he has this ability of astral projection, and when he sleeps, he can project his body, you know, he has, like, out-of-body experiences. And so, one night, he has an out-of-body experience, and he enters this world called the Further, which is, like, the astral world, and, uh, basically some demons in that, like, try and take over his body, and the house starts getting possessed, and ghosts start appearing that are trying to, you know, possess him as a vessel. And, yeah, it's a pretty scary concept in a way. It has a nice build-up. There's some really good scares in here. Um, James Wan is one of the best directors in horror today. He pretty much is the top guy. Um, he's very successful. It's, uh, the music is very creepy. Um, Darth Maul's in it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Patrick, it starts Patrick Wilson, and, um... Rose Byrne as the parents, and uh, we find out throughout the movie, spoiler alert here, that uh, Patrick Wilson, he also had the ability of astral projection and passed it on to his son. So, Insidious, pretty great movie. The sequel just came out. Um, Spider Jack just reviewed it, and uh, Danny, AJ Punk, and I are going to review it as well because, well, we wanted to give our thoughts on it too, but Spider Jack beat us to the punch. But, anyways, um, Horror Movie of the Week, Insidious, go check it out, it's a pretty freaking awesome movie, so, yeah, you can't go wrong with Insidious, so, best horror movie of 2011, one of the best, I think it's the best horror movie of this decade, but that's just me, I mean, it's only 2013, so it's the 2010s, it's, it's my favorite, I like it more than, you know, The Conjuring, I think The Conjuring's kind of overrated in a way, but I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's a little too high hype, but that's just me, but anyways, um, Thanks for watching the video. Um, next week we'll probably have Insidious Chapter Two as the horror movie of the week. Just you know, because I like it or whatever. I just need to do this video. So, anyways, thank you for watching, everyone. Have an awesome week. Done a ton of videos right now, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. Okay then, talk to you later. Bye bye.